On average, we lose thirty to 40,000 people a year in America due to self-termination. That's a lot of people. They was just cowards. 40,000 cowards in America. Holy, some as young as 10. Holy children saying goodbye to the world. The greatest American alive. A young man by the name of Twitch on the Ellen Show, uh, he ended his life. And it said that he committed self-termination using a lethal weapon at a hotel. I think the only people you can really beat up on who can't fight back is dead folks. Right. And I've been saying in the media a whole lot of people just beating up on this dead man. And I'm, they, they call him selfish, call him a coward. They say all these things about a man who has no ability to defend himself. What about his kids? Are you finna send his kids some money? You don't give a damn about that man's kids. You don't give a damn about that man's life just like you don't give a damn about that man. And I think that's what's leading to mental illness in America right now. That we just don't give a damn about nobody. A man is dead and we call him a coward. Like would you would have said that when he was alive? They would have ignored him while he was alive. So it's a lose lose situation anyway. Shoot, talk bro. about you when you're dead and when you're alive, they nobody seems to see it. You know what I mean? You gotta give people their flowers while they're here. Troy, I yeah. appreciate you being here, I my brother. You. We're alive. I mean it, it it don't it don't make no sense to do it while one of us is deceased. You know it, it, it's a celebration to have that. through good conversation you can build. Right. We don't. We need to show up for each other. And somewhere in that man's life, in this man Twitch, in his life, someone didn't show up. And I can put the blame on him and say, man, you should never ever get to the point of self-termination. I didn't live that man's life. Right. And money don't make you comfortable. Life is hard. It's hard as hell. Whether you got a thousand dollars, no dollars, or a billion dollars, life is hard. But I guess, again, sitting from this perspective, <clears throat> we just don't know. Just don't know. They say more money more problem that's that's with everything in life right right now you're a wonderful businessman your business is growing yes yes okay next thing you're going you're gonna have employees hopefully and your employees got families definitely gotta feed the family you used to be responsible for you and your family now you're responsible for 10 yeah yeah <laughs> at, at a certain point you just realize it's not about you no more all of a sudden it becomes a, a machine right my actions directly impact hundreds of people just because you exist my existence feeds hundreds of people right in his death right now twitch is creating content for hundreds of people hundreds of people right now is putting twitch on the thumbnail just look at how much empathy we have in our society for these wonderful people who transition and i can't say nothing about transitioning because i ain't never done it huh right. <laughs> some people say that man is going to hell how dare you how dare you we again we don't know his life i don't know nothing personal about him but rest in peace man god bless the dead yeah all of it. all of it man mm -hmm. i'm going to use the bible as a weapon against you and say this bible says you're going to hell fire and damnation is coming to you because i said that i read the bible and you're a horrible person because you self-terminated brother the hell is here on earth is a living condition you know what i mean like heaven and hell is a living condition when somebody's spirit leave their body, as the scriptures say, according to the Bible, it goes back up to the Father. Based on the thoughts that we have, we can be living in torment right now. Are we thinking good thoughts? Am I thinking good thoughts about myself? Because the way I think about myself, that's going to reflect upon the world. I agree. I wouldn't want to be around people that that aura is just bad. Who wants bad negative energy around them? Not me. It do start within yourself. You got to find it in yourself to get crunk, to get hype. So you can be hype for the next person. Because remember, it's not about you. It's about showing up. Right. <laughs> showing up and showing out. On average, we lose thirty to 40,000 people a year in America due to self-termination. That's a lot of people. They was just cowards. 40,000 cowards in America. Holy, some as young as 10. Holy children saying goodbye to the world. But instead of having a conversation on why this is happening to folk we'll just condemn them and if you ain't ever lived it or ex or had a family member experience it then man your words fall upon deaf ears hey there's one in every family you may not be going through it but i'm pretty sure somebody you know is going through let's just say mental illness all that stuff man you better check in all that yeah for all you wonderful individuals who are resilient man i thank you so much i'm i'm glad that you have that strength but everybody ain't that strong right and if you're dealing with something and it's whooping your butt, it don't mean that you ain't strong. That thing is just hard. Life is just hard. Right. We know who to tell and not tell things, certain things to. But, man, we all unclean. Filthy. Like, <laughs> filthy. You know what I'm saying? You'll look at me and tell me all the things that I do wrong. You won't never look in the mirror and look at the things that you got going on, huh? The man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. It's great to have a support system. So like when it's hard, I'm gonna call somebody on the phone because that's a great mechanism. Yes. When you're going through a real hard time, you got to fight back. A stagnant mind will lead to a stagnant body and a stagnant body will also lead to a stagnant mind. So you got to keep moving. Read a book and walk a mile. That's my challenge. Yeah. That shit messes with your health.
internally too. Hey, that's my that's my challenge to everybody. Like we're approaching a brand new year, and for 2023 is so exciting, right? I challenge you to read a book and walk a mile. Well, I walk a mile. I just gotta get that reading in. <laughs> the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.